My name is Jerry Knapp. This is Brass Tacks and Hard Facts about Nozzle Reaction. The reason you want to measure nozzle reaction is so you can assess different nozzles and evaluate different nozzles for use in your fire department. We know that the nozzle reaction is based on two things, the amount of flow and the pressure at this nozzle. You can build your own nozzle measuring device with items you have around your firehouse. The fire hydrant here simulates a solid anchor, could be a street sign or a post, a piece of webbing or rope back to a, a fish scale that this one goes to 150 pounds you can buy in any sporting goods store and one more piece of short webbing for a choker going back to the coupling behind the nozzle. This device gives you the opportunity to measure objectively uh, the nozzle reaction for a variety of different nozzles. One thing to note when you're conducting your own nozzle reaction tests is that if you're doing it on a rough surface, you may want to put down a piece of plastic so the hose can actually slide back when the nozzle is pushing that hose backwards. Let's take a look at some of the numbers. The first nozzle we saw was a 15 16 smooth bore operating at 50 PSI. The flow was 185 gallons per minute with a nozzle reaction of about 69 pounds. That's about what one person can handle. In comparison, this automatic nozzle operating at 100 PSI nozzle pressure and flowing the same 185 GPMs has a nozzle reaction of 90 pounds. That's a 21 pound increase from the smooth bore which will be significant for the backup man to handle. Nozzle reaction is an often overlooked portion of the nozzle selection process. It is, however, a very critical part of your overall assessment process in selecting the right nozzle for your department.